Alright, good dread. Oh, is he wanting to start blue? No, he's healing with Fleet. That's what he's doing. Yeah, he's in Stern Red for sure. It's nice to get the info there just so I know where their jungle's pathing. Especially as in jungle early. Hey, welcome, Insane Alawi. I'm honestly fine with him uh, pushing early, yeah. And that, that right there is why I'm fine with it. He's going to TP back. Rage TP incoming. Nice. We got one of these junglies. I hate playing against these Shackos, man. I'm glad I'm not the enemy top laner of this game. Honestly though, that's not that's not lane over because I got two assists. I didn't get the kills. It is very nice for me, but it's not it's not lane over for sure. I'm kind of glad though. I would rather Shaka get the kills in this situation. Because against Graves, he's pretty hard for me to kill early. It's not a matchup where I can like super press my lead, even if I get a bit of a lead. Ooh, that's a tilter, dude. Wow. I'm actually gonna get a Titanic. I need to match his wave clear. This champion just perma pushes, man. Look how fast he pushes that wave, too. With literally just a longsword. It's insane. Yeah, shotgun versus shotgun, Tria. I got more shotguns, so we should win. I do think Urgot outscales Graves pretty hard, though, for sure. I just think the lane is pretty hard. But late game, mid and late game feel pretty good versus Graves. I don't mind it. Like, honestly, what lane doesn't feel hard these days is there got.
I guess Singe. That's like the only one, dude. It's like the only matchup where I feel like that champion just literally can't kill you unless he takes Ignite and you like misplay. There's some other like decent matchups, but they still have potential to kill you, I feel like. Alright, good back time. It's a cannon wave too, that's nice. I would say he can't push this, but I think Graves actually can. Try to get back ASAP here. He might just reset too though. Yeah, he's gonna reset. That's fine. Do you actually see Singed? Honestly, not really, no. You know what's weird though is I think Singe is kind of a decent champion. But yeah, no one really plays him in like D1 Masters. In fact, I don't even see him when I smurf either. So yeah, no one really plays him that much, I guess. I feel like he's in not too bad of a spot though. I know there is a lot of uh, high elo singe one tricks. Or maybe not a lot, but I know there's a few. I think it's easier to climb in diamond in preseason. I think preseason is harder to climb in. Well, I think end of season is the hardest to climb because like everyone's really trying. But preseason feels harder to climb than like middle of season for some reason. Oh, dude, he turned? I think the clone just, like, lost vision somehow, I guess. Goliath online. That refillable pot just saved my life. Alright, not too shabby. I got TP here, that's not bad. Also, plated steel cap back is pretty nice. Okay, we hard push here. What is going on over here, dude? Oh, I might be dead. Nice. 
Siege. Wow, the LB actually did like no damage. I think she's sitting on a ton of gold. Yeah, she's got to be sitting on at least a decent chunk. Ah, oh, I messed up W toggle. Graves no TP. Zen could be rushing top though. Let's get out of here. I'm not risking it. Dang, this is going really good for going Titanic first item too. Shield bow versus Titanic. I should win right now, for sure. Are we giving Drag? I think I can just use my E to get in range right now. Landing E on Graves is kind of impossible. I think just using it to get in range and just still having the shield, we can still take a good trade. At least if I want to force a play, that's kind of what I have to do. Because he can just reactionary E my E too easily. Did he just take blue buff? What the heck? I feel like his mid is going to rage on that. There we are. It's got to be patient. I would have just went for the E flash there if we couldn't get an E range. I was just kind of feeling it out. Alright, we got to try to help bot lane out now. Now that my TP's back up. It's actually a good time right now. Only problem is... I do not have the grinder. Oh, no way. Dude, no way did that just happen. I did not need a flash. Dang. I can stay for Grandy, maybe. Oh my god, my E wasn't going off. That scared me. Because I got rooted. 
I see everyone right now, so we can push. Cringe bow. That always gets me, man. I knew there was a chance once I committed to Terry that we were going to die in that play, but I'm fine with that. Uh, okay, we got 4.4k here. Let's see. Cleaver's really nice into graves. They don't really have any any HP shred, so we'll go Frostfire. Sounds good. Probably a Sterax fourth item here. Whoa, hello. I should be a little bit careful just walking into jungle like this, I guess. I'd really like to play for Drags, but I guess our bot lane is just struggling hard this game. Maybe we can't. Yeah, my team doesn't want to. I guess we're just going to have to play for Soul then. Or try to fight the soul. Um, I use Frostfire more than Gore Drinker for sure. I think Frostfire is still my most built mythic. Or not I think, it, it is for sure. Yeah, it's too deadly to push right there since they're doing Dragon. They're just gonna four man me if I push up there. What the heck? I feel like we definitely fight this. Okay, that guy's taking no damage. The way we're playing the map is so odd right now. I feel like we're just kind of letting them do this. I, I understand our bot lane is losing pretty hard, but... Surely we don't have to give everything. We're on the Masters account, by the way. I feel like we should be playing a lot better here. Like, no way they can dive us under turret, right? If Fizz comes over, this should be a kill. Ah, uh, I was not thinking about that. You can cancel him if you do damage during that channel. I just wasn't ready for it. I still don't think about those portals enough.
if we can 1v3 that guy, actually. That dude is fed. I'm trying really hard this game not to make any big mistakes. It's really hard with Urgot to like press the lead but also not make mistakes because if you go too far in with E you just die. We don't have any anti-heal. Alright, I'm not going to be able to do Sterax, actually. I think Bramble into Stone Plate is the play here. Have a good one, Nero. Having Mythic should help a decent amount. No, I don't think Thornmill's worth it. I think Stoneplate's better here. Having the Bramble's nice just for a little bit of anti-heal. Oh, my Paul ran out. They're gonna go for Baron, maybe? They probably do both here, Baron and Sol. Dude, how does that miss? It's a good thing I'm fed. The nice thing about stone plate is it's 100 gold cheaper now too, and the Aegis is only 1400. That's actually a super nice change. I think they did that like two patches ago or something, but yeah, it's pretty nice. I definitely can't push past the river this game. It's as far as I can go when you have the losing team. We just don't have the map control for it. Oh. Alright then. I don't know, man. Our Lux is 0 12. Gotta give me something to work with here, dude. Big steel, maybe. Nice. Good job. That's huge. That actually saves the game. I don't know how much we can do with Baron, but the fact they don't get Baron saves the game. Like, can't even run in on their team comp. 
Yeah, just live. It's hard to be Urgot in a game like this, it really is. I need to try to get a fear. I need to try to get an ulti into flash fear play. Which is probably gonna happen off the Zen since he's the only one like running in. Let's get our stone plate farmed out here. That looks pretty good actually. All right, pretty much full build. Still got to upgrade the Thorn Mill, but honestly, that's not going to change too much. Zaya's been able to kind of farm her way back into the game. I need a save flash for a team fight. I could kill that Gauthi flash. It just doesn't do anything for the game. Well, it doesn't do what we need for the game. Should be a kill. That's fine, dude. Let's try to kill their bot lane. That is the key right now. Dude, I think we can play for Elder here. I think we can get Elder here for sure. I think forcing Elder is the play right now for sure. It's kind of risky, but I think it is the play. Ah, uh, you had one job, man. I mean, we could have done that. The execution was so poor.
Just trying to buy time, get the wave cleared. Dude, the inhibitor respawn may be saved. Dude, maybe saved. Check us up. Dude, we actually saved it. Can we Baron Rush, maybe? I have TP. LB's up. Alright, let's see. Dude, Shaka actually solos that kind of quick. Dude, I think we can win this. We gotta defend for inhib respawn though. Yeah, we just got a turtle for now. Dude, look how massive I am, by the way. It's a freaking giant crab. I feel like I'm slower. Even though I'm not. Graves TP? He does not need a TP to that. Interesting. Dude, honestly, I think we should send someone else to match Graves. I don't think it's worth my time. I need to be in the fight. He's coming in with a flank. Flux fine? Class. Aphelios down. Let's try to push out top, I guess. I'm just scared that I'm going to get like two or three men. Jeez, I'm such a tank right now, dude. I'm not scared of the two man, I was scared of LB, I guess. But once I saw her going mid, I was like, okay, we can we can TV one. I guess TV two, Lux helped out there. But I think we could have even TV one that. Aphelios has a gill for us, okay. Oh, my Baron ran out. What's my movement speed gonna be with that, I wonder? Dude, I'm gonna have like no movement speed, I think, right now. Let's see. 388 with it fully stacked. That's not too bad, actually.
Got the ulti. I couldn't even stun play it. Dude, I got melted. How did I get melted so fast? Cinder ulti? Dang, man. Can't say we didn't try on that one. Shaka played really well, too. Dang, S plus for that game, too, man. I was trying so hard. Hey, GG at least.